people who listen to the singing of songbird songs fail to notice that all songbirds sing in the ecstatic mood and not in the lyrics. A good example is that of the catbird. or Mother Carrie's chicken is heard from out of the fog. The first bird voice that greets me in the spring of the year is the Cardinal Redbird calling, what cheer, what cheer, what cheer. Ending with a loud call, The perch Jenny Wren, or House Wren, pours out its voice in undulating trills. The tremulous, hysterical, sobbing call of the loon can only be heard at its best from over the lake on a moonlight night. of the marsh is the oak lee call of the red-winged blackbird. Notice the cluck. The jerky, jingling song of the bobolink is usually given in one breath, ending with a clear whistle entirely distinct from the song. Among the numerous calls of the quail, the California mountain quail is distinctive and readily recognized. <laughs> With easy play upon one's imagination, the language of the birds of the marsh can almost be understood. As I approach, the old bird on guard will seem to say, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Another one on the other side of the marsh will say, what for, what for? What for, what for, what for? Another will say, well, well, well. Well, 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 well. One more bold will say, come over here, come over here. While a timid growback will say, I want to come home, I want to come home. I want to come home. I want to come home. They all jabber together. Finally, they will all sing the chorus together. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. The dominant note in nearly all bird voices is joyous, but there is one notable exception, the ring dove. The undulating call of the goldfinch is pictured in its flight. It is often called the wild canary, whose song it resembles. The 
plaintive note of the wood TV is given in the minor. The blue jay, policeman of the wood, shakes his rattle. The whippoorwill lashes out its night call. Were it not for the perfectly focused voice of the morning dove, its note would be lost. The master voice of the field is the meadowlark. The peabody bird, or white-throated sparrow, calls from out the deep wood in a clear whistle. The mother note of the catbird is quite apart from its call or song, seeming to say, May, May, Merry, Merry, May. The tiny wood or barn owl chuckles all through the early night. His larger brother, the hoot owl, startles and almost frightens. 